hello, hello. Oh, let me see if I can get this straight. There we go. That's, that's a little bit better. Hi, happy Wednesday. How's everyone doing today? <clears throat> my name's Beth, and um, this is my Facebook business page, Chocolate One, and I do crafty things. And today we're going to do some ornaments. I'm getting kind of ready for Christmas because I have things I want to take to my consignment shop. But first, what I want to do is go over here and see if Facebook posted this live so I can share it. There we go. To the VIP group. I'll turn this down. I was listening to my audiobook. There we are. There we go. So if you're watching, will you please um, like and follow my Facebook page and sprinkle this. That means S-H-A-R-E. And where is that at? That is in the lower, <clears throat> if you're looking at your phone, it should be in the lower left-hand corner. And that helps get this video out there. So Facebook thinks that we have something of value that they will want to push up on the Facebook world. They're a logarithm. So I have a fun project today. Um, I did get in, well first let me say I always order these minis and I, I think these come in the designer kit. I'm pretty sure they do come in the designer kit. And um, I always kind of wonder what am I going to do with these? So what we're going to do, let's see here, what we're going to do is make ornaments. I had ordered these little wood, just little wood discs, um, like slices of wood. And I just got them and they're very inexpensive. I think I got this bag of them. And you can get these anywhere. They gave me a nice little thank you card. There's probably about, let's see, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. I don't know, probably 40, 36 or 40 of them in here. So um, I made some just to kind of demo earlier. And didn't they come out cute? So I'm going to show you how to do these. Super easy. And you can do it any color you want. Um, I'm kind of pick this stuff up. This is just a piece of wood I was working, um, <clears throat> putting on my desk to protect it when I was painting. I'm going to get a cardboard so we can paint them. I just think that um, it's so nice to make things um, for handmade, homemade, uh, and that you can share, you, you can share with your family, you can put on your trees, they can become hand-me-downs, you know, through the generations. Um, and your kids can help you make this. This is, this is such a, a simple project. So let's get started here. I just have a paintbrush and I'm going to use some acrylic paint. I just have, this is called geranium red. And you could paint these any color. You could paint them black and put red on it or paint them black and put white on it. Um, any color you want it to do. Some of that debris off of there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here. And we're going to paint them all at the same time. Very easy to paint. You could, this wood does soak up the paint pretty good. It's very dry. So therefore, it will dry very quickly for us. I was even thinking about putting a little glitter on it. That would be nice, festive. But I know I've seen these little chips at, I don't know if I've seen them at the dollar store, but I have seen them at um, Walmart, you know, the other other kinds of 
box stores. So this won't take too long. We could also use our chalk paste to paint these. My husband's outside um, burning. We've had a lot of trees taken down early in the year. <clears throat> so we had quite a few slash piles, um, you know, drying up all summer. And now's the time to burn them before, before our snow hits and um, while it's starting to rain a little bit. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for stopping by tonight. So he's out there watching the fires. Okay, we have our wood chips painted. Now we're going to dry them. I'm going to use our heat dry tool. <clears throat> My tea of choice a day is Throat Comfort by Yogi. And the little saying, I like this one a lot. It says, accept the challenge you are facing. It may become your greatest gift. Isn't that nice? Mm. And it's, that is such a flavorful, very mild tea. So let's just dry this paint really fast. Or as fast as we can. And then we'll get to the pasting and putting a little bit of embellishments on these. And we're going to wax a little bit first. So I'm going to do a little bit of sanding after it's dry. I kind of, I kind of like how that looks. Like I said, this wood is really dry, so that paint just soaked right into it. sanding block here. I'm just going to see if we can sand it a little bit. This gives it a little bit of distress look. You know, this is kind of a, a rustic look, so we don't want it to look like it's brand new from the store. We want it to look homemade. So these sanding blocks, I just picked them up at the dollar store. They're in the automotive aisle. Or um, Harbor Freight is another good place to get them really inexpensive. to do with little kids though. I think they would have so much fun and their sense of accomplishment and pride would be really great. Um, mine is, so I'm hoping, I'm thinking theirs would be too. <laughs> and I'm just doing four, but the... Um, the transfer comes with a set of 12, so you could make a dozen transfers. I'm going to get a little wax. I just like the way the wax finishes uh, wood. 
this is just this is a min wax finishing wax I think we do sell Chocotour does sell a, a, a finishing wax but I think it's um, on one of those slow boats to China right now it's not in stock so I just use this it works That's just going to protect my little transfer from pulling up any of the little wood fibers that might have popped up from sanding it or just there because of how dry the wood is. There we go. And then I'm going to just buff it really quickly. And this is just an old microfiber cloth. I just use it for this. <clears throat> because like I said, I really like the way the wax finishes the wood, how it feels. fuzzing cloth. These are pre-drilled with for the this one doesn't have a very good let's see if I can get that to holes. Not very good. And then we can also do something on the back of these. I would suppose that you maybe would want to do that. This little tool is a, um, what do they call it? A detail tool. And it comes in so handy. It has a little tiny squeegee at the top. And then it has this, I've used this probably more than the squeegee. That little pokey thing is perfect. So what did I do? I did Joy to the World, a little sled and candy. So I'm gonna do some different ones. I think these little ice skates would be cute. I don't think it needs too much fuzz. I put fuzz on it just to help. So it pulls up and doesn't stretch. So I'll put these right here. Yeah, these don't really I've used them a little bit, so they don't really need a lot of fuzz. Um, let's see. Let's do the little gingerbread man. He's cute. And how about... Noel. I didn't do Noel, did I? No. And um, jingle all the way. Those are the four we'll do today. dinner done. Hi Irma, how are you today? Thanks for hopping on. We're making ornaments. Okay, uh, since I, I'm going to keep going with the white. Let me find it. Oh, right in front of me. And then I'll show you how we're going to dress them up a tiny bit. So I just get some paste on my squeegee and squeegee on. I'm doing them all in the same color, just one color. 
that's also uh, really nice for kids is doing it in one color, especially younger children. Pull that up, it's adorable. Gingerbread man. Wash those. The other nice thing about doing something like this with kids is um, all of our paste and our ink is non-toxic, so you don't have to worry about them getting sick from using it. It cleans up really easily. And it's water soluble. <clears throat> so if they get it on their clothes, the paste washes out. The ink is a different story. Let's see, if you have questions. Hi, Lori. Popping in a bit late, what you making? I'm making some ornaments today. I thought your message said you were having popcorn. I thought, oh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Just simple little ornaments that would be fun to make with kids or grandkids. Very inexpensive. Um, for a crafty afternoon when you have the kids over. There we go. Okay, while these are drying, I'm going to wash the little transfers really quickly. And then we're going to, I don't know, I might, I've got a lot of time today, I might put some little glitter around the edge of it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get the glitter out today. <laughs> I just wash the paste off the front of the transfer and then wash it off the back as well. And then let it soak <clears throat> dry, sticky side up. Don't let them soak in the water. That was a Freudian slip. These transfers are um, silk screen vinyl transfers. They're reusable eight to 12 times and with good care, I've gotten a lot more use than that out of them. So. And I checked before I came on to do my live, this transfer is um will be coming back in stock next week or not next week tomorrow tomorrow so if anybody's interested in doing this project let me know and i can get you hooked up there okay these are just gonna dry sticky side up shiny side up whatever you want to call it let's dry these really quick And probably that wood is so dry. some ribbon through it this little this little pack I had it comes with some twine but I really liked this um, gingham or checked ribbon that I just I had so I'm going to cut a few pieces of this off and hope I'm cutting it long enough maybe we'll do two and see how it works 
This is just a, a piece of florist wire. Do I have that handy to show you? Mm. I don't know. You get this in the floor. I don't see it. You get this in the floral section. Oh, here it is. Looks like this. It just it's just wire. So I took a little piece of it. And if you remember, if you're if you're a seamstress, if you if you sew, then you already know this. But <clears throat> I learned this from my grandmother. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get some of that <clears throat> throat comfort. Um, what I'm going to do is thread the looped part of the wire, pin it down, squish it down, through the hole. And then make my needle eye, and I want it to be doubled. So then I'm going to pull that through there. May not have made that long enough. Then it just it just cinches out the top. So here we could tie this into a knot. <clears throat> we could put a we'll put a bead on the next one. Just gonna tie this in a little loop up here. And then if you were going to tie this onto a package or you, you were gonna put it as an ornament on the tree. You could decide what to do with it, how you wanted to tie it. I'm just going to make a little tiny knot at the top here. So it kind of makes a little, it makes a little bow at the top almost, like a little messy bow at the top. So that's that one. Now let's try, let's try doing one with a bead on it. <clears throat> I have these cute little beads. A little red one here again. And poke it through the back this time and pull it through. We'll see if we can get this. See if we can get that through the bead. Don't know. We'll try. There we go. It did it. You know, and I'm sure that you can figure out <clears throat> better ways to tie yours than I can. That is not my forte. <laughs> but that's cute with that little bead on top of it. Okay, there's that one. Now... I'm pretty sure that this there's gingham ribbon like this at the dollar store right now. But I have noticed if you see something at the dollar store you like and you and you think you might want it, 
like more than one of them, make sure you grab what you want because they go out of stock pretty fast. Let's put some beads on top of that knot and see if we like that. here is kind of cute. But at least with this little piece of wire, I'm able to th thread these beads onto this ribbon. Otherwise, it would be a no-go. Now, let's put one more on there. Let's put a, a plain red one on again. And there's that one. That's really cute. This would be a really cute tree ornament. So we're just going to tie a little knot up here. And it would probably need like a Christmas tree, one of those wire hooks. That's cute. kind of like that one. Oh, just some different ideas. Super easy. Have any? I don't have any little greenery or beads. I kind of let me see if I have some little beads over here. I do have a, do have a few little beads. I don't know if these would really. They're probably too big. <clears throat> kind of feels like I want something else on there, though. What else could I put on there? <clears throat> Well, what I could do is make an inky dinky messy bow. Or maybe I'll try, let me see. These beads too. Let's see what a black and red one would look like on there. Kind of play around with it till you know you get what you want out of it. That's what it's all about. It's about having fun. Let's see. 
do this. Ribbon through beads is easier for me than making bows, I'll tell you that much. Famous last words as I get this ribbon stuck here. There we go. That one's cute. Let's do another red and black one. Okay, and there's that little one. That one's pretty cute with the red and black um, check on it. Oh. So, these are our cute little ornaments that we made today. So quick, so easy. Hi, Mona, how are you today? Thanks for hopping on. And I just think, I just think so fun for, for you to do with kids or grandkids. Let me see if there's any questions over here. Hi, Nancy. No, you have some hot apple cider. That sounds good, Lori. I have my hot tea. I made a pot of chili. It's chili kind of day. So, let's see. So we got, so now I have eight ornaments done. You probably can't see that off camera, more than likely. That are really cute. I tried using, <clears throat> we have another one that looks like an ornament. It's this one, and I really like it because it's kind of vintage looking. They don't quite fit on this chip all the way, but I, I tried it to see if I could do it for you guys. It didn't quite work. Let me put my my little tiny transfers up here, and all I'm going to do is take another fuzzing cloth with the microfiber side, because we already washed it. I'm going to save my little wire for more ornament threading, and I'm just going to dry these off. Got little pieces of bark stuck everywhere. Okay, and then I have them on my backer sheet. I'm just going to stick them back on there. And let me show you guys, let me show you the bag that we made yesterday, the snowman, how he came out. Really cute. It came out really nice. And then what I like to do, because they still feel a little bit damp to me on the, the, the vinyl side, I just leave this um, out, of the, out of the cellophane envelope for a couple hours and then pop it back in to it so it's ready to go. Put our beads away. Because they like to roll all over the floor. So let me grab that bag really quick and show you. This is another really inexpensive way to do um, crafts with kids. This bag costs under $2. And didn't they just come out so cute? Tis the season to be freezing. It came out really cute. I'm really happy with that. So, you guys, um, I'll be back tomorrow, probably at, hmm, I don't know, does 3.30 work well for you, or is 4.30 better? I was doing most of my lives at 4.30, um, but I had some training to do, 
this week, so I moved it to 3.30, but I don't know. I'll be here tomorrow sometime. Real festive. What is Real festive and handy. Oh, thanks, Lori. Yeah, it came out super cute. So, all right, guys, until we talk again, take good care.